What's up guys and welcome back for another real quick one here at the Pursuit of Growth and as a reminder uh, a little bit ago I hit a hundred subscribers and I'm really trying to boost that more and more so I'd really appreciate if you like this content give me a subscribe a thumbs up and I really never get any comments I'd love to start having conversations with you guys that follow me I really appreciate the feedback so like I said a real quick one today and I just wanted to take you through and show you what we're dealing with here on my home lawn uh, this week we're, we're looking at three four days in the straight 90s 93 93 93 and with the real feel and the humidity here in the pittsburgh region that's putting us real close to like the mid 90s just touching the upper 90s and hey look for my southern friends i get it you're sitting there saying oh that's nothing man roger that for you it, it might be nothing but for our turf up here and our climate that is extremely hot and our grasses are not really suited especially when we don't have irrigation to deal with those temperatures day in and day out we're also talking about temperatures at night in the mid 70s so extremely hot and it's leading our lawns to look like this now this is my neighbor's lawn and i know for a fact that it is cut by a commercial company weekly and you can probably see the uh the brownness i hope you can i mean you can see right right along here the mower tracks i can look across here and see that my other neighbor's lawn is really starting to brown out and these are also non-irrigated lawns but when you come over to mine and remember i'm not putting anywhere near the focus and energy i usually would this time of year on my lawn because well i'm not living here right now and uh, we'll talk about that in a future video, but I'm not living here, so I can't water and I can't maintain the way I would like to, but look at my lawn. So you, you might be wondering, Craig, how do you keep a non-irrigated lawn that you don't irrigate regularly uh, going in the summer with these kinds of temperatures? Well, that's what this video is about. And again, I want it to be real quick, so we're just gonna go over it real quick. I just cut this lawn and when you look at it you might say like geez oh man you just cut that that looks like crap well that's cut on four and a half inches that's as high as my x mark commercial 21 will go and that there is the sole reason why I can have a non irrigated lawn when temperatures are that hot in our area and still continue to have a green lawn. So that was already cut once, but I just walked into the back and the side here and the, let's take a look at how long this is. This is uncut. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's long. Look at this. This has not been cut. Hey, coming to you from the studio. So in the video, I said it had not been cut for 12 days. Well, I actually went back and looked. And the last time I cut it was on July 18th when I got home from vacation. And today is August 9th. So it has not been cut in over three freaking weeks. Wow. Back to it. And you can see when you look at my neighbor's line and my line, uh, his was probably cut on Thursday. They usually cut on Thursdays. I'm filming this on a Monday morning. You can see the clear difference. That and that get the same amount of sun. They get the same amount of water. They do get more nutrients and feedings on my side, of course. But the number one thing is it's cut long and I leave it long. And a lot of people would say this doesn't look good, Craig, like all bushy and crappy. Like, here, look at this. Look at that. Look at that piece of grass sticking out. And a lot of it's like that. Look, it's laid down. But, but that is how I can maintain a lawn, keep it green without irrigation. It's been watered. I've came out here and watered just zone one over there on Saturday morning for like two hours. Get down like a little more than a 
half inch of rain with my bad water pressure. But this is from proper nutrition, cutting it high when it's hot, a little help from Hydrotain, one application, you saw that video. And it's super green. I wish I had something better than a GoPro because you could look at all of these lawns and they are just hurting. It probably won't show as good on the GoPro. So, real quick, that's what I'm doing, right? Proper nutrition, cut it long, as high as your mower can possibly go. And again, this just got cut and it doesn't look that great. It's not the perfect manicured look because that mower four and a half inches, it just doesn't do that. You can see there's stuff sticking up. Here, let me, there's definitely stuff sticking up. But what I do is I cut this on four and a half and then I'll take a backpack blower, come through real quick. I'll stand stuff like this up and cut it again real quick and that'll try to keep it a little bit uh, even of a cut. It looks like after I come through and blow. And here's what I'm gonna say to you. You have to be okay with, even if I come back over that, I have tall fescue, older tall fescue here. When it's this hot out, you have to be okay with it looking a little bushy. It's If you wanna cut it down to the ground, it's gonna look like that over there. And again, I know it's not really showing on camera, but these yards are brown. And look, that, that's not to say there's nothing wrong or there's nothing going on on my yard. Look at this. The, uh, the area that I had to plant, the new planting, not looking so hot, to be honest with you. Over there too is like real stunted. And then along the roadway here, this was completely brown. And I know my shadow's in the way, but also is Mackenzie's car. This was all completely brown. There was no green in it. And then I came over here and I irrigated and you can see there is some green starting to come back. But this was no green at all. So that's not to say there still isn't gonna be challenges. Nothing's going to replace deep and frequent waterings, which I just can't do right now. So just wanted to show you that my lawn is not perfect, but I would much rather have a bushy, shaggy green lawn than a tight, brown lawn so this is blown let me get it cut again there's another little update for you i got myself a new well new to me backpack blower i uh, actually bought it off of steve who owns the lawn care company i work for it's a still br uh, is it 700 yes yeah, I, th I wasn't sure if it was seven or 750 but it's a still more than adequate for anything i would need to do with it my favorite part of it as a storage feature this right here now if you're familiar with steel equipment you might know about this but you can unthread this right here and when you're storing it away you can shorten up the blower tube that's nice if you're putting it in the back of a truck or anything like that but i wanted to show you real quick like i said cutting it four and a half inches out here and uh, I know it's a little dark because the sun's behind my trees right now. But I wanted to try and show you. This gives you a good idea how long I'm leaving my grass when that is four and a half inches and looks pretty it bushy but manicured. And you can see how long the turf is that I haven't cut yet. But that's what you need to do. If you experience a real hot, dry August like we usually do here, this is when I bump it up. Maybe you're somebody that's a uh, businessman, travels a lot, but wants to maintain a green yard in the hot months. This is what you're gonna have to deal with. And you're gonna have to decide, and maybe leave me uh, in the comments, um, would you rather have a green bushy lawn or would you have rather have a tight browned out lawn? Me, I'd rather have green and bushy for a month or so until we get into the cool weather of September than a browned out and here's the thing if you if you go with that browned out look once temperatures do return you're starting from dormant and have to put, coax it back into a green lawn so it's going to take longer with this all i'll have to do is slowly lower my height of cut and we'll be rocking and rolling for the fall which is my favorite time to shine 
So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and like I said, then I'll take a blower and blow through it. These lower spots and a renovation is coming. I was hoping it would be this fall, but with our wedding and stuff, it's not gonna happen. These little pockets where the grass lays and this is something you're gonna contend with when you cut high and don't cut as often in the heat. You see there a little bit of bent grass. So there's some, there's some things that are not desirable in this lawn, but overall, for now, it's looking nice and green and good. So that's it. Stay off your grass when it's super hot out and you too can have a healthy green lawn or healthier than you would, especially if you can't irrigate regularly, like the situation I'm in right now. So just a quick one, just showing you how my grass is looking right now. It's still green, but man, it's gonna be hot. We'll see you soon. This is the Pursuit of Growth.